Do you love eggplant parmesan? Because I do. It's a cozy, wintry dish with all that melted cheese, it gets brown on top, but eggplants aren't a winter vegetable. So in this recipe, I substitute cauliflower. I get something that's cozy, that's warm, and in season. The key element of a good pan of parm isn't just using Parmesan cheese, it's also frying whatever goes in there. You want that crunchy fried coating to contrast with all that melty, creamy cheese on top. And by the way, fried cauliflower is a delicious thing. You should do it anyway, even if you're not making parm, just fry some cauliflower because it is so good. So I'm gonna do it the extra crunchy way. I'm gonna dip it in egg and flour and panko. And you wanna season all of these things really aggressively. That way, some of the salt and pepper is actually gonna reach the cauliflower. So it looks like a crazy amount, but it's just gonna be perfectly seasoned at the end. And a lot of pepper. So mix it up a little bit. And what the flour does is it absorbs any moisture on the surface of whatever you're frying. And then the egg can stick really well to the flour. It's almost like glue. And then you do the breadcrumbs and then the breadcrumbs stick really well to the eggs. So you're basically getting as much crunch as possible into a small little space. You don't need to deep fry these. You can shallow fry them in just about a half an inch of oil. Obviously don't use the super good stuff. You can use the inexpensive olive oil for frying. Wait for your pan to get hot. You don't want to crowd the pan because if you crowd the pan, they're all going to just kind of steam instead of getting nice and crunchy and brown. So do this in batches. And you know, add more oil as it gets soaked up. Ah, nice. Another advantage to cauliflower over eggplant is that eggplant is like a sponge and it just soaks up all of the oil in the pan. Not so much cauliflower, so you get less oil per bite. Now you just want to layer it up in a pan. Use your favorite tomato sauce recipe, and then just a thin layer on the bottom. Try not to splatter your shirt, which I have successfully not done. A first. It is really important to use good parm here. If you use some other cheese, it's not parm. Parm needs Parmesan. You'll taste a difference. And then you just want to layer the cauliflower. It's actually nice that they're different sizes. Some of them are kind of big, some of them are kind of small. You get different crunch ratios all about mixing it up. And then I'm gonna use half of what's left. Half of your mozzarella. If you can get the nice fresh mozzarella, that's also gonna make this taste even better. And then do it again. And now you bake it. A thing of beauty. If cauliflower is not your thing, you could use broccoli, you could use Brussels sprouts or winter squash, or do something traditional. Go back to eggplant, do chicken, do veal. Pretty much whatever you give the parm treatment to is gonna taste good.